Introduction to the Geographical Overview of Lebanon Lebanon is a small country located in the eastern Mediterranean region of Western Asia, bordered by Syria to the north and east and Israel to the south. The country has a land area of approx. Lebanon's geography has played an important role in shaping its history and culture, with the country serving as a crossroads between the Mediterranean and the Middle East. The country's Mo. Lebanon has a Mediterranean climate, with hot, dry summers and cool, rainy winters. The country is known for its mild and pleasant climate, which makes it a popular destination for tourists. Lebanon has significant natural resources, including fertile soil, water resources, and mineral deposits such as limestone and gypsum. The country is also known for its production of cedar tea. Lebanon's flora and fauna are diverse and reflect the country's varied landscape. The country's forests are home to a variety of tree species, including oak, pine, and cedar. Animal Species Lebanon is also known for its rich cultural heritage, with a history dating back to ancient times. The country has been inhabited by a variety of civilizations, including the Phoenicians, Ro. In addition, Lebanon is home to several natural and cultural attractions, including the Gita Grotto, a system of underground caves and rivers that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Count Lebanon's cuisine is diverse and reflects the country's multicultural heritage. Traditional dishes include tabbouleh, a salad made with parsley, tomatoes, and bulgur wheat, and kippeh, a dish. In conclusion, Lebanon is a small but diverse country with a rich cultural and environmental heritage. Its rugged mountains, fertile valleys, and scenic coastline make it a unique in beauty. Lebanon's economy is diverse and includes a range of industries, including agriculture, tourism, and manufacturing. The country is known for its production of wine and olive oil, as well as Lebanon's tourism industry is an important source of revenue for the country, with millions of visitors coming to the country each year to enjoy its natural beauty and cultural heritage. Bah. Lebanon's healthcare system is among the most advanced in the region, with a strong emphasis on preventive care and public health. The country has made significant progress in reducing infan. Lebanon is also committed to environmental sustainability, with a focus on protecting its natural resources and reducing its carbon footprint. The country has set ambitious targets for incur. Lebanon has a rich literary tradition, with a number of notable writers and poets hailing from the region. The country's literature reflects the complex history and cultural heritage of the. In addition, Lebanon has a vibrant and diverse art scene, with a strong tradition of music, dance, and theater. Traditional music includes genres such as dabka and tarab, while modern music. Lebanon's film industry is also growing, with several notable films and directors emerging in recent years. The country's film industry has been supported by initiatives such as the Beirut Eye. Despite its many strengths, Lebanon faces significant challenges, including political instability, economic inequality, and regional conflict. However, the country's commitment to reform and In conclusion, Lebanon is a small but dynamic and diverse country, with a rich cultural and environmental heritage. Its commitment to environmental sustainability, public health, and social Lebanon is also known for its strong tradition of education, with a literacy rate of over 93%. The country has a number of prestigious universities, including the American University of Bayer. Lebanon's society is characterized by its diverse population, with significant Christian and Muslim communities and smaller communities of Druze, Jews, and other religious groups. The Kunter Lebanon is also committed to promoting gender equality and women's rights, 
with initiatives such as the National Strategy for Women in Lebanon. The country has made progress in increasing th. Lebanon's cuisine is famous for its rich and diverse flavors, influenced by the country's multicultural heritage. Traditional dishes include kippe neye, a raw meat dish, and tabbouli, a. In addition, Lebanon has a strong tradition of sports, with soccer being the most popular sport in the country. The Lebanese national soccer team has participated in several international co. Lebanon's youth population is particularly dynamic and innovative, with a strong entrepreneurial spirit and a focus on technology and innovation. The country has a growing startup scene, with. In conclusion, Lebanon is a small but vibrant country with a rich cultural and environmental heritage. Its commitment to education, social justice, and cultural diversity, as well as its VIB. Lebanon has a well-developed transportation infrastructure, with a network of highways, railways, and airports connecting the country to the region and the world. Beirut Rafiq Hariri in Turna. Lebanon's telecommunications sector is also advanced, with high rates of mobile phone and internet penetration. The country has a number of telecommunications companies, including the state. Lebanon is also known for its vibrant and diverse nightlife, with a wide range of bars, clubs, and restaurants catering to different tastes and preferences. Beirut, in particular, is known f. Lebanon's fashion industry is also growing, with several notable designers emerging in recent years. The country has a unique fashion sense that blends traditional elements with modern trend. Lebanon is also committed to promoting peace and stability in the region, and has played an important role in several international peacekeeping missions. The country is also taken in a SIG. Despite its many strengths, Lebanon faces significant challenges, including political instability, economic inequality, and regional conflict. However, the country's resilience and determina. In conclusion, Lebanon is a small but dynamic and diverse country with a rich cultural and environmental heritage. Its commitment to education, social justice, and cultural diversity, as we Lebanon has been affected by regional conflicts, particularly the Syrian civil war, which has had a significant impact on the country's stability and security. The influx of refugees from Sai. The country has also faced political instability, with frequent changes in government and ongoing disputes between different political factions. Corruption is also a significant challenge, W. Despite these challenges, Lebanon continues to make progress in areas such as gender equality, environmental sustainability, and economic diversification. The country has a strong civil soci. Lebanon's youth population is particularly active and engaged, with a strong sense of civic responsibility and a desire to make positive change in their communities. The country has a vibran. In addition, Lebanon has a rich tradition of philanthropy and social responsibility, with many wealthy individuals and businesses supporting charitable causes and social initiatives. The coup. In conclusion, Lebanon is a small but dynamic and diverse country, facing significant challenges but also showing great potential for economic and social development. It's rich cultural and e. Thank for watching. An overview of the country's geography Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a small landlocked country located in Western Europe, bordered by Belgium to the west, France to the south and Germany to the east. Despite its small size, Luxembourg is a pro. Luxembourg has a total land area of approximately 2,586 square kilometers, making it one of the smallest countries in Europe. The country's geography is characterized by rolling hills, dense. 
The climate of Luxembourg is largely influenced by its location in the heart of Europe, with mild temperatures and moderate rainfall throughout much of the year. The country experiences a Tay. Luxembourg is home to a number of important natural resources, including significant reserves of iron ore, coal, and other minerals. The country's Tham Tuck Vat is characterized by mixed for. In addition to its natural resources, Luxembourg is known for its highly developed economy and its strong focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. The country is home to a number of Ian Porta. Luxembourg is also a country with a rich cultural heritage and is known for its many festivals and cultural events. The country's annual Schuperfuhrer Fair is one of the largest and most po. Despite its many achievements, Luxembourg faces a number of challenges, including the need to diversify its economy and reduce its reliance on the financial sector, as well as the ongoing M. In conclusion, Luxembourg is a small but dynamic country with a unique geography, vibrant culture, and highly developed economy. Its commitment to innovation, entrepreneurship, and sustainability. Luxembourg's economy is one of the most prosperous and diversified in Europe, with a strong focus on finance, technology, and manufacturing. The country is home to a number of important FINA. In recent years, Luxembourg has taken steps to diversify its economy and reduce its reliance on the financial sector. The country has implemented a number of policies aimed at promoting inter- Luxembourg is also a member of the European Union and the United Nations, and has signed a number of international treaties and agreements related to trade, human rights, and the environment. Luxembourg is home to a number of important natural attractions, including the Mullerthal region, also known as Luxembourg's Little Switzerland, the Ardennes region, and the Moselle Valley. In addition to its natural attractions, Luxembourg is known for its strong focus on education and human development. The country has a highly developed education system, with free primary and Luxembourg is a country with a rich cultural heritage, and is known for its many festivals and cultural events. The country's annual Schuperfuhrer Fair is one of the largest and most popular. Despite its many achievements, Luxembourg faces a number of challenges, including the need to reduce its carbon footprint and the ongoing impact of climate change. However, the country's SDR. In conclusion, Luxembourg is a small but highly developed country with a unique geography, vibrant culture, and strong commitment to innovation and sustainability. Its thriving economy, rural. Luxembourg is also known for its strong commitment to environmental sustainability and the protection of its natural resources. The country has implemented a number of policies aimed at PROM. Luxembourg is a country with a high population density, and as such, its environmental challenges are unique. Despite this, the country has taken a proactive approach to environmental protect. Luxembourg is home to a number of important protected areas, including the Mullerthal region, the Upper Soar Natural Park, and the Haute Sorforet Denlier Nature Park. These areas are home. In addition to its natural resources, Luxembourg is known for its strong focus on innovation and entrepreneurship. The country is home to a number of important technology startups and research. Luxembourg is also a country with a rich cultural heritage, and is known for its many festivals and cultural events. The country's annual National Day celebration is one of the largest in M. Despite its many achievements, Luxembourg faces a number of challenges, including the need to reduce its carbon footprint and promote sustainability, as well as the ongoing impact of climate. In conclusion, Luxembourg is a small but highly innovative country with a unique geography, vibrant culture, and strong commitment to sustainability and environmental protection. It's thriving. Luxembourg's population is diverse and multicultural, 
with a mix of Luxembourgish nationals and foreign residents from around the world. The country has three official languages, Luxembourgi. Luxembourg is home to a number of important historical and cultural sites, including the UNESCO-listed Old Town of Luxembourg City, the Viandin Castle, and the Echternach Abbey. These sites Luxembourg is also known for its strong commitment to social progress and human rights. The country has a long history of political stability and democratic governance, with regular election. In recent years, Luxembourg has taken steps to promote greater equality and social inclusion, with a focus on promoting the rights of women, minorities, and marginalized communities. The coup Despite its many achievements, Luxembourg faces a number of challenges, including the need to promote greater social cohesion and reduce inequality. However, the country's strong commitment. In conclusion, Luxembourg is a small but highly diverse and multicultural country with a rich history, vibrant culture, and strong commitment to social progress and human rights. It's thriving. Thank for watching. An overview of Malaysia's geography. Malaysia is a beautiful country located in Southeast Asia, bordered by Thailand, Indonesia, and Brunei. It has a total area of approximately 329,613 square kilometers, making it the 66th lar. Malaysia's climate is generally hot and humid with temperatures ranging from 22 to 32 degrees Celsius. The country experiences two monsoon seasons, the southwest monsoon, which occurs from. The country is rich in natural resources, including petroleum, tin, timber, copper, iron ore, and natural gas. It is also one of the world's leading producers of palm oil, rubber, and cocoa. Malaysia's vegetation is diverse, with tropical rainforests covering much of the country. These forests are home to a wide range of plant species, including bamboo, orchids, and the worlds. Speaking of fauna, Malaysia boasts a rich diversity of animal life. The country is home to over 200 species of mammals, including tigers, elephants, and orangutans, as well as more than 600. Malaysia is a country with a rich and diverse geography. It is made up of two distinct regions, Peninsular Malaysia, which occupies the southern part of the Malay Peninsula, and East Malays. Peninsular Malaysia is a narrow strip of land that stretches approximately 800 kilometers from north to south. It is separated from East Malaysia by the South China Sea. The region is mostly East Malaysia is located on the island of Borneo, which is the third largest island in the world. The region is dominated by dense rainforests and rugged mountain ranges. The highest peak in Malaysia has a tropical climate, with temperatures that range from 21 to 32 degrees Celsius. The country experiences two monsoon seasons, the southwest monsoon, which occurs from May to Sep. Malaysia is rich in natural resources. It is one of the world's largest producers of palm oil and rubber. The country also has significant reserves of natural gas, petroleum, tin, and timber. The country's natural environment is diverse and unique. Malaysia's rainforests are home to a wide range of plant species, including hardwood trees, orchids, and pitcher plants. The country Malaysia is also known for its diverse wildlife. The country is home to over 200 species of mammals, including tigers, elephants, and orangutans. It is also home to more than 600 species of. Malaysia is a country located in Southeast Asia, with a rich and diverse geography that includes both the Malay Peninsula and the northern part of the island of Borneo. The country's landscape. 
Peninsular Malaysia is a narrow strip of land that extends from the tide border in the north to Singapore in the south. The region is dominated by a range of hills and mountains that run down. East Malaysia, also known as Malaysian Borneo, is located on the northern part of the island of Borneo. The region is dominated by dense rainforests, rugged mountain ranges, and some of the Malaysia has a tropical climate with high humidity and temperatures ranging from 22 to 32 degrees Celsius. The country experiences two monsoon seasons, the southwest monsoon from May to Sep. Malaysia is rich in natural resources, including tin, petroleum, natural gas and timber. It is the world's largest exporter of palm oil and is also a major producer of rubber and cocoa. The Malaysia's natural environment is diverse and unique, with a wide range of plant and animal species. The country's rainforests are home to over 15,000 species of plants, including the raffle. Malaysia's culture is a mix of Malay, Chinese, Indian, and indigenous influences. The country's cuisine is diverse and reflects its multicultural heritage, with dishes such as nasi lemak, sa. Malaysia is a country located in Southeast Asia, with a rich and diverse geography that encompasses both the Malay Peninsula and the northern part of the island of Borneo. The country is now Peninsular Malaysia, which stretches from the Thai border in the north to Singapore in the south, is a narrow strip of land dominated by the Titiwangsa Mountains that run down the center of East Malaysia, also known as Malaysian Borneo, is located on the northern part of the island of Borneo. The region is dominated by dense rainforests, rugged mountain ranges and some of the Malaysia has a tropical climate, with temperatures ranging from 22 to 32 degrees Celsius. The country experiences two monsoon seasons, the southwest monsoon from May to September and the N. Malaysia is rich in natural resources, including tin, petroleum, natural gas and timber. It is the world's largest exporter of palm oil and is also a major producer of rubber and cocoa. The Malaysia's natural environment is diverse and unique, with a wide range of plant and animal species. The country's rainforests are home to over 15,000 species of plants, including the raffle. Malaysia's culture is a mix of Malay, Chinese, Indian, and indigenous influences. The country's cuisine is diverse and reflects its multicultural heritage, with dishes such as nasi lemak, sa. In terms of religion, Malaysia is predominantly Muslim, with Islam being the official religion. However, the country is also home to a significant number of Buddhists, Christians, and Hindus. In conclusion, Malaysia is a beautiful and diverse country with a rich geography, natural resources, and cultural heritage. Its lush rainforests, beautiful beaches, and stunning mountain ran. Thank for watching. Overview of the country's geography Maldives the Maldives, officially known as the Republic of Maldives, is a small island country located in the Indian Ocean. The country is composed of 26 atolls, which are made up of over 1,000 coral. Geography The Maldives is located in the Indian Ocean, southwest of Sri Lanka and India. The country spans a total area of approximately 298 square kilometers, 115 square miles, making it one of the climate. The Maldives has a tropical climate with two distinct seasons, the dry season and the wet season. The dry season lasts from December to April, while the wet season lasts from May to November. Natural resources 
The Maldives is a country that lacks significant natural resources. The country's economy is heavily dependent on tourism, which contributes to over 60% of its GDP. The country also relies on Vegetation The Maldives has a limited amount of vegetation due to its low-lying islands and the presence of coral reefs. The country's vegetation is mainly composed of coconut palms, breadfruit trees. Wildlife The Maldives is home to a diverse range of marine life, including over 2,000 species of fish, 21 species of whales and dolphins, and 5 species of sea turtles. The country's coral reefs are the Maldives is located in the middle of the Indian Ocean, to the southwest of India and Sri Lanka. The country is composed of 26 atolls, which are made up of over 1,000 coral islands. The A. Climate The Maldives has a tropical climate with two distinct seasons, the dry season and the wet season. The dry season lasts from December to April, while the wet season lasts from May to November. Natural Resources The Maldives is a country that lacks significant natural resources. The country's economy is heavily dependent on tourism, which contributes to over 60% of its GDP. The Maldives has one of T. Vegetation The Maldives has a limited amount of vegetation due to its low-lying islands and the presence of coral reefs. The country's vegetation is mainly composed of coconut palms, breadfruit trees. Wildlife The Maldives is home to a diverse range of marine life, including over 2,000 species of fish, 21 species of whales and dolphins, and 5 species of sea turtles. The country's coral reefs are the Maldives is a small archipelagic nation located in the Indian Ocean, situated southwest of Sri Lanka and India. It is composed of 26 atolls and more than a thousand coral islands. These Climate The Maldives has a tropical climate with two distinct seasons, the northeast monsoon season and the southwest monsoon season. The northeast monsoon season lasts from December to April, and I. Natural Resources The Maldives is a small nation with limited natural resources. The country's economy is primarily based on tourism, which accounts for more than 60% of its GDP. The Maldives is also known for Vegetation The Maldives has a limited amount of vegetation due to its low elevation and the presence of coral reefs. The country's vegetation is mainly composed of coconut palms, breadfruit trees, and wildlife. The Maldives is known for its diverse marine life, which includes a variety of fish, sharks, rays, and sea turtles. The country's coral reefs are home to a wide range of colorful and fascina. Overview of the country's geography Mongolia Mongolia is a vast country located in the heart of Asia, bordered by Russia to the north and China to the south, east, and west. With a land area of 1.6 million square kilometers, it is the Geography of Mongolia Mongolia is a landlocked country, located in the heart of the Asian continent. It stretches across an area of approximately 1.6 million square kilometers and is situated between China and Ru. The Gobi Desert The Gobi Desert is a vast, arid region that covers about one-third of Mongolia's territory. It is the fifth largest desert in the world and is known for its extreme temperatures, with temper. The Mongolian Plateau 
The Mongolian Plateau is the central region of Mongolia and is characterized by vast grasslands and rolling hills. This area is home to the traditional nomadic lifestyle that has defined Mon. Forested Mountains The forested mountains in the north and west of Mongolia are part of the Altai mountain range, which runs across Mongolia, China, Kazakhstan, and Russia. The mountains are home to several M. Climate Mongolia has a continental climate with four distinct seasons. The summers are hot and dry, with temperatures often exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. In contrast, winters are bitterly cold, with Natural Resources Mongolia is rich in natural resources, including minerals such as coal, copper, and gold. It is also home to large reserves of uranium, rare earth elements, and other minerals. These resourc. Rivers and Lakes Mongolia is home to several important rivers and lakes, which play a vital role in the country's ecology and economy. The Orkin River is the longest river in Mongolia, stretching for 1,124. Wildlife Mongolia is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including several rare and endangered species. The country's vast grasslands are home to wild horses, gazelles, and the endangered saiga ante. Mongolian Wildlife the forests of the Altai Mountains are also home to several species of rare and endangered animals, including the snow leopard and the Altai Argali, which is the largest wild sheep in the well. Population and Demographics Mongolia has a population of just over 3 million people, with the majority living in urban areas such as Ulaanbaatar, the capital city. The country has a low population density, with ONL. Economy Mongolia's economy has traditionally been based on agriculture and animal husbandry, with nomadic herders playing a vital role in the country's economy and culture. However, in recent years, Infrastructure Mongolia's infrastructure is relatively underdeveloped, particularly outside of urban areas. However, the country has made significant investments in recent years, particularly in the Devalo. Culture Mongolian culture is deeply influenced by its nomadic heritage, with traditional practices such as herding and horseback riding still playing a vital role in the country's way of life. Mongo. Conclusion Mongolia is a vast and diverse country, with a rich cultural heritage and a unique natural environment. Its rugged terrain, vast grasslands, and nomadic way of life have made it a popular duh. Tourism Tourism is an important industry in Mongolia with the country attracting visitors from around the world who are interested in its unique culture and natural environment. Popular Tourist Day Education Mongolia has made significant investments in education in recent years, with the government making it a priority to improve literacy rates and provide access to education for all of its city. Politics Mongolia is a parliamentary republic, with a president as the head of state and a prime minister as the head of government. The country has a multi-party system, with the Mongolian peoples. Religion Mongolia has a long and complex religious history, with traditional shamanism being the dominant religion before the arrival of Buddhism in the 16th century. Today, Buddhism is the main rally. Food 
Mongolian cuisine is heavily influenced by its nomadic heritage, with traditional dishes such as booze, steamed dumplings, kushur, deep-fried meat pies, and oral, dried curd, bean pop. Sports Mongolians have a long and proud history of sports, with traditional sports such as horseback riding and archery playing a vital role in the country's cultural heritage. Wrestling is also an In conclusion, Mongolia is a unique and fascinating country with a rich cultural heritage and a beautiful natural environment. Despite facing significant challenges, including the need to buy Transportation Transportation in Mongolia can be challenging, particularly outside of urban areas. The country has a limited road network, and many roads are unpaved, making travel difficult, particularly. Healthcare Mongolia has a universal healthcare system, with access to healthcare services provided free of charge to all citizens. However, the quality of healthcare can vary significantly, particularly. Environment Mongolia is home to a unique and fragile ecosystem, with its grasslands, forests, and deserts being vital components of the country's natural environment. However, the country faces significant International relations Mongolia maintains friendly relations with both Russia and China, its two neighbors. The country has also established close ties with the United States, Japan, and several other countries. A. Art and Literature Mongolia has a rich tradition of art and literature, with traditional forms of expression such as throat singing, contortion, and the Morin Corps playing a vital role in the country's culture. Technology Mongolia has made significant strides in developing its technology sector in recent years, with the government establishing policies aimed at promoting innovation and entrepreneurship. The C. In conclusion, Mongolia is a unique and fascinating country with a rich cultural heritage and a beautiful natural environment. While the country faces significant challenges, particularly in Thanks for watching. Animals that live in coniferous forests. Coniferous forests, also known as taiga or boreal forests, are vast stretches of forest dominated by evergreen trees that can thrive in harsh, cold environments. These forests cover large areas of North America, Europe, and Asia and are home to a wide range of plant and animal species adapted to living in this unique ecosystem. The animals that live in coniferous forests are diverse and fascinating, each with their own adaptations and survival strategies. In this passage, we will explore some of the most common and iconic animals that call these forests home. One of the most iconic animals of the coniferous forest is the moose, Alsus alsus. Moose are the largest species of deer and are well adapted to life in these forests. They have long legs that allow them to wade through deep snow and their large, flattened antlers help them clear paths through the dense underbrush. Moose are herbivores and feed on a variety of plants, including the leaves and bark of trees such as aspen and birch. During the winter, when food is scarce, they will dig through snow to find lichens and other food sources. Moose are also excellent swimmers and will take to the water to escape predators or to cool off in the summer heat. Another large herbivore that can be found in coniferous forests is the elk, Cervus canadensis. Like the moose, elk are well adapted to living in harsh environments, and are able to survive in deep snow and freezing temperatures. 
Elk are social animals and can be found in large herds during the winter months. They feed on a variety of plants, including grasses, shrubs, and tree bark. During the fall, male elk engage in rutting behavior, where they use their antlers to fight for access to females. One of the most elusive and iconic animals of the coniferous forest is the wolf, Canis lupus. Wolves are apex predators and play a crucial role in the ecosystem by controlling populations of herbivores such as elk and moose. They are highly social animals and live in packs, which can range in size from a few individuals to over 20. Wolves are skilled hunters and are able to take down prey much larger than themselves. They are also excellent communicators, using a range of vocalizations, body language, and scent marking to communicate with each other. Another apex predator that can be found in coniferous forests is the grizzly bear, Ursus arctos horribilis. Grizzly bears are omnivores and feed on a wide range of food sources, including berries, roots, insects, fish, and small mammals. They are also known to scavenge on carrion and will occasionally prey on larger mammals such as elk and moose. Grizzly bears are powerful animals and are capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. They are also excellent swimmers and can be found fishing in rivers and streams during the summer months. One of the most common birds found in coniferous forests is the black-capped chickadee, Poesola trichopilus. These small birds are known for their distinctive black cap and white cheeks. They are highly adaptable and can be found in a wide range of habitats, from dense forests to suburban backyards. Black-capped chickadees are omnivores and feed on a variety of food sources, including insects, seeds, and berries. They are also known for their acrobatic abilities and can often be seen hanging upside down from branches as they search for food. Another bird commonly found in coniferous forests is the boreal owl, Aegolius funerius. These small owls are nocturnal and feed on a variety of prey, including small mammals and birds. One of the most impressive animals that can be found in coniferous forests is the lynx, Lynx canadensis. This medium-sized cat has adapted to living in cold environments and has thick fur that allows it to survive in harsh winters. Lynx are skilled hunters and feed primarily on snowshoe hares, which are abundant in coniferous forests. They are also known for their distinctive ear tufts and their ability to climb trees, which they use to ambush their prey. Another mammal that can be found in coniferous forests is the beaver, Castor canadensis. Beavers are known for their ability to build dams and lodges, which they use to create their own habitat within the forest. They are herbivores and feed on a variety of plants, including the bark and leaves of trees such as aspen and, and willow. Beavers are also important ecosystem engineers, as their dam building creates wetlands that provide habitat for a variety of other species. One of the most colorful birds that can be found in coniferous forests is the pine grosbeak, Pinicola inucleator. These birds are brightly colored, with males having a bright red head and breast. They are omnivores and feed on a variety of food sources, including seeds, fruits, and insects. Pine grosbeaks are also known for their distinctive calls, which can often be heard echoing through the forest. Another bird that can be found in coniferous forests is a common raven, Corvus corax. Ravens are highly intelligent birds and are known for their problem-solving abilities. 
They are omnivores and feed on a wide range of food sources, including carrion, insects, and small mammals. Ravens are also known for their distinctive calls and can often be heard croaking and cawing as they fly over the forest. One of the most fascinating animals that can be found in coniferous forests is the porcupine, Orythizon dorsatum. These slow-moving herbivores are covered in sharp quills that they use for defense against predators. They feed primarily on the bark and needles of trees, and are known for their ability to climb trees to reach their food sources. Porcupines are also important prey for predators such as wolves and coyotes. Another mammal that can be found in coniferous forests is the red fox, Vulpes vulpes. These agile predators are skilled hunters and feed on a wide range of prey, including small mammals, birds, and insects. They are also known for their adaptability and can be found in a variety of habitats, including suburban areas. Red foxes are also known for their distinctive bushy tails, which they use for balance and communication. In conclusion, the animals that live in coniferous forests are incredibly diverse and adapted to living in one of the harshest environments on Earth. From apex predators like wolves and grizzly bears, to smaller animals like the black-capped chickadee and the porcupine, each species has its own unique adaptations and strategies for survival. These forests are a vital ecosystem, providing habitat for a wide range of plant and animal species, and are an important part of the global biosphere. As we continue to understand the importance of preserving these environments, we can work to protect the animals that call them home and ensure that they continue to thrive for generations to come. Lands are being ravaged and efforts to protect them. Lands all around the world are being ravaged by a number of different factors, from natural disasters to human activities. The effects of this destruction can be felt in a multitude of ways, from the loss of wildlife habitats to the displacement of local communities. However, there are many efforts being made to protect these lands and ensure that they remain viable for generations to come. In this passage, we will explore some of the ways in which lands are being ravaged, as well as some of the efforts being made to protect them. One of the most pressing concerns facing our lands today is the impact of climate change. The rise in global temperatures is leading to more frequent and intense natural disasters, such as wildfires, floods, and hurricanes. These events not only cause immediate damage to the affected areas, but also have long-term effects on the land and its ecosystems. For example, wildfires can destroy forests and grasslands, making it difficult for these areas to recover and regrow. Similarly, floods can wash away topsoil, which can reduce the fertility of the land and make it harder for plants to grow. Another factor contributing to the destruction of lands is human activities. Deforestation, overgrazing, and pollution are just a few of the ways in which humans are damaging the environment. Deforestation, in particular, has been a major concern in many parts of the world. Trees play a crucial role in absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, so when they are cut down, this leads to an increase in greenhouse gas emissions. Deforestation also contributes to soil erosion, which can further degrade the land and make it less able to support plant life. Despite these challenges, there are many efforts being made to protect and restore the land. One of the most effective ways to mitigate the effects of climate change is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This can be done through a variety of means, such as increasing the use of renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and promoting sustainable transportation. By reducing our carbon footprint, 
we can help to slow the pace of climate change and protect the land from its most devastating effects. Another way to protect the land is through conservation efforts. Many organizations are working to preserve natural habitats and protect endangered species. This can involve everything from creating wildlife reserves to restoring wetlands and other ecosystems. By preserving these areas, we can help to ensure that they remain intact and healthy for future generations to enjoy. In addition to conservation efforts, there are also many initiatives aimed at restoring degraded lands. One such initiative is the use of agroforestry, which involves planting trees alongside crops to improve soil health and reduce erosion. This approach can help to restore degraded farmland and provide additional benefits, such as improved water quality and increased biodiversity. Another promising approach to land restoration is the use of regenerative agriculture. This approach involves farming practices that promote soil health, such as reducing tillage and using cover crops. By improving soil health, regenerative agriculture can increase crop yields, reduce the need for synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, and promote biodiversity. It can also help to sequester carbon in the soil, which can help to mitigate the effects of climate change. In addition to these efforts, there are also many individual actions that we can take to protect the land. For example, we can reduce our use of single-use plastics, which can pollute the environment and harm wildlife. We can also choose to buy sustainably sourced products, such as food and clothing, which are produced in ways that minimize harm to the environment. Ultimately, protecting the land requires a multi-pronged approach that involves government action, corporate responsibility, and individual choices. It requires us to think not just about our immediate needs, but also about the long-term health of the land and its ecosystems. By taking action now to protect the land, we can help to ensure a better future for ourselves and for generations to come. One promising approach to protecting the land is through the establishment of protected areas. These areas can take many different forms, from national parks to wildlife reserves to marine sanctuaries. By designating certain areas as off-limits to development or human activity, we can help to preserve their natural beauty and ensure that they remain intact for future generations. Another way to protect the land is through sustainable land use practices. This involves using the land in a way that meets our needs without degrading its natural resources. For example, sustainable agriculture practices involve using techniques that minimize soil erosion, promote biodiversity, and conserve water. Similarly, sustainable forestry practices involve harvesting trees in a way that promotes the long-term health of the forest. In addition to these efforts, there are also many technological solutions that can help to protect the land. For example, remote sensing technologies can be used to monitor changes in the land, such as deforestation or soil degradation. This information can be used to inform conservation and restoration efforts. Similarly, precision agriculture technologies can be used to optimize crop yields while minimizing the use of resources like water and fertilizer. Another promising technology for protecting the land is blockchain. Blockchain is a decentralized, tamper-proof ledger that can be used to track the origin and movement of goods. By using blockchain to track the source of products like food and timber, we can ensure that they are sustainably sourced and not contributing to the destruction of the land. Finally, education and awareness are key to protecting the land. By educating people about the importance of protecting the environment, we can inspire them to take action and make changes in their own lives. This can involve everything from school programs to community outreach to public campaigns. In conclusion, lands all around the world are being ravaged by a number of different factors, from climate change to human activities. 
However, there are many efforts being made to protect these lands and ensure that they remain viable for generations to come. These efforts involve everything from reducing greenhouse gas emissions to promoting sustainable land use practices to using new technologies like blockchain. Ultimately, protecting the land requires a multi-pronged approach that involves government action, corporate responsibility, and individual choices. By taking action now to protect the land, we can help to ensure a better future for ourselves and for generations to come. Furthermore, indigenous peoples have long played a critical role in protecting the land. Indigenous peoples have a deep understanding of the natural world and its interconnectedness with human societies. Geographical Differences Between the North and the South Geographical differences between the North and the South of any country can have a significant impact on everything from climate to culture. In many countries, the North and South have distinct geographical features, weather patterns, and cultural traditions that set them apart from one another. The same is true for many regions of the United States, where the North and South are separated by vast differences in topography, climate, and history. One of the most significant geographical differences between the North and South of the United States is the climate. The North tends to have a colder climate, with long, harsh winters and shorter summers. The South, on the other hand, has a warmer climate with more consistent temperatures throughout the year. This difference in climate has a significant impact on everything from agriculture to the way people live their daily lives. In the North, Agriculture is often limited to a few crops that can survive the colder temperatures and shorter growing seasons. Corn, wheat, and soybeans are the most common crops grown in the northern United States. In contrast, the South has a longer growing season and can grow a wider variety of crops, including cotton, tobacco, and peanuts. The difference in climate also affects the way people live their daily lives. In the North, people tend to spend more time indoors during the winter months, while in the South, people are more likely to spend time outside year-round. This difference is reflected in the architecture of homes and buildings in each region. In the North, Homes and buildings are often designed to be energy efficient and to keep out the cold. In the South, homes and buildings are often designed to take advantage of the warm climate and allow for plenty of natural light and ventilation. Another significant difference between the North and South of the United States is the topography. The North is characterized by rugged, mountainous terrain, while the south is generally flatter and more expansive. This difference in topography has a significant impact on everything from transportation to the availability of natural resources. In the north, transportation can be challenging due to the rugged terrain. Roads and highways often wind through mountain passes and can be challenging to maintain during the winter months. In contrast, the South has a more extensive network of roads and highways that are generally flatter and easier to maintain. The difference in topography also affects the availability of natural resources. In the North, there are vast reserves of minerals, such as iron and coal, that are mined from the mountains. In the south, the land is generally better suited for agriculture, and there are vast reserves of timber that are harvested from the forests. The difference in topography also affects the culture of the north and south. 
In the north, outdoor activities such as skiing and hiking are popular, while in the south, activities such as fishing and hunting are more common. This difference is reflected in the types of festivals and celebrations that take place in each region. In the north, Festivals and celebrations often center around winter sports and the holidays, while in the South, festivals and celebrations often center around food and music. The history of the North and South of the United States is also vastly different. The North was primarily settled by Europeans who came to the region seeking economic opportunities. In contrast, the South was settled by Europeans who came to the region seeking land to farm. This difference in settlement patterns had a significant impact on the culture and economy of each region. In the North, the economy was based on manufacturing and trade. Cities such as Boston, New York, and Chicago became centers of industry and the region became known for its innovation and technological advancements. In the South, the economy was based on agriculture and the labor of enslaved Africans. The legacy of slavery has had a significant impact on the culture and economy of the region and is still felt today. The history of the North and South also led to different attitudes towards government and individual rights. In the North, there was a stronger tradition of individualism and a belief in the power of government to promote social welfare. This led to the development of progressive policies, such as labor protections and social welfare programs. In the South, However, there was a greater emphasis on states' rights and a belief in the importance of individual freedom. This led to resistance to federal government intervention and a slow adoption of progressive policies. The legacy of these different attitudes can still be seen today in the political landscape of the United States. The differences between the North and South also extend to cultural traditions and values. In the North, there is a greater emphasis on individual achievement and success, while in the South, there is a greater emphasis on community and family. This can be seen in the differences in cuisine, music, and social norms. In the North, the cuisine tends to be more diverse and reflects the influence of different ethnic groups. In the South, however, there is a greater emphasis on traditional Southern cuisine, such as fried chicken, biscuits, and gravy. Similarly, in the North, music tends to be more experimental and reflects the influence of different cultures. While in the South, there is a greater emphasis on traditional music, such as country and blues. The differences between the North and South can also be seen in social norms and customs. In the North, there is a greater emphasis on punctuality and efficiency, while in the South, there is a greater emphasis on hospitality and politeness. For example, in the North, it is common to arrive on time for appointments and meetings, while in the South, it is more common to arrive a few minutes late to show respect for the host. In conclusion, the geographical differences between the North and South of the United States have had a significant impact on everything from climate to culture. The North and South have different topography, climate, history, and cultural traditions that set them apart from one another. These differences have led to different attitudes towards government and individual rights, as well as different values and customs. While the North and South may have their differences, 
they are both integral parts of the American landscape and continue to shape the country's identity and culture. The differences between the North and South can also be seen in the education system. In the North, there is a stronger tradition of public education, with a greater emphasis on academic achievement and preparing students for college. In the South, however, there has historically been less investment in public education, leading to lower levels of academic achievement and a greater emphasis on vocational education.